What is this work about? But basically, in uh, this work, we evaluated the ability of uh, quercetin, which is a potent uh, natural flavonoid, to counteract uh, some skin challenges like uh, inflammatory condition induced by a variety of uh, stimuli, including, for example, UV radiation, prick test with histamine, and uh, uh, contact with irritant chemicals. Quercetin was uh, formulated uh, in a specific delivery system employing the phytosome technology. Uh, a phytosome is basically a formulation in lecithin of a botanical ingredient that has a tendency to self-aggregate. And lecithin acts uh, as a self-aggregation disruptor, uh, so due to this chemical structure of uh, a polar head and a long hydrophobic tail. Phytosomes uh, topically have shown to improve uh, the skin permeation of botanical ingredients. So basically, uh, quercetin phytosome uh, was uh, formulated at 1% dosage and uh, its efficacy in uh, uh, skin soothing was uh, evaluated against a blank sample and uh, compared also to a positive benchmark, uh, that is a 1% desclorophenyramine uh, containing formula. Perfect. And what was the primary outcome of this study? Well, the results of our study actually suggest that quercetin phytosome uh, was uh, able to soothe the skin that was submitted to various insults as UV radiation, histamine prick, or also skin barrier disruption induced by an SLS or a glycolic acid solution. So, basically, as an example, the soothing effect was visible as a reduction in redness, uh, in the dimension of the wheels, uh, and also a subjective itching sensation. On top of this, our result suggested that the ability of this uh, formulation could restore the skin barrier function uh, given the increase in hydration and uh, transepidermal water loss reduction. We also had conducted uh, an in vitro study to assess uh, the ability of a quercetin phytosome to reduce and inhibit uh, the basophil degranulation uh, that was induced by a specific antibody. Yes, in uh, this uh, specific in vitro study, we uh, were able to show that the quercetin phytosome could uh, dose dependently inhibit the degranulation of basophil thus suggesting that uh, is exerting a sort of a dual anti-allergic effect. First of all, he is able to inhibit histamine release, and then on the other hand, is able to somehow block the histaminic uh, reaction propagation, that is uh, reducing the typical skin histaminic reactivity of the skin in terms of redness and itch. So, if we combine this activity with the anti-inflammatory action, we could account for the marked reduction that we see in skin irritation in observed in our study. Yes, and these results actually prompt future studies to investigate the skin protective properties of quercetin to reduce allergic or allergic-like skin reactions.